Hello. Welcome back to Let's Play Brogue. <clears throat> I'm just going to attempt the daily seed. Today is January 30th, 2019. Our music today is by Punch Deck, and I will put a link in the description. It's some music that he has made and made available for free. And I will put a link in the description to that. Um, he posted about it on uh, the Roguelike Development subreddit, if I remember correctly. Someplace like that. Uh, and like I said, I, I will put a link in the description to that. Go to War Pike. Anything else on this level? There could potentially be something squeezed in over here, but I don't think there necessarily is. Um, this looks like a plausible, complete layout, so I'm going to go on down to the next level. Wish I could get MPV to not do that. But uh, there's probably a command line option, and I probably just need to read the man page. I probably haven't bothered. Okay. Uh, let's set that one off, actually. I think that will hit the other as well. Then I just have to stand back here and wait for a little bit. test that armor. I don't think I want to risk it right at this moment. Oh, goodness. It's that kind of key. Since I know that's what it is, that's going to make it really easy to get. Good. Okay, I already have a war pike. So unless the war pike I have ends up being cursed and negative, the thing to go for here is probably the transference.
go this way. Yeah, slightly more efficient. Before I go explore, okay, that's it, right? That's it for this level. Onward and downward. Level four, and I haven't identified anything yet. Starting to get to the point where I'm going to have to do that eventually. that ring. In fact, I think I'm going to stealth, okay? that look like a complete level? I think it'll do. Onward and downward. Let's not go that direction at the moment. Hopefully there aren't eels here because trying to get past them could be a real pain. You know, if I don't ever try out any of that armor, how do I only have three potions this deep? And there is Neil there, so I gotta be careful coming back. There's a fourth potion. Let me drop some food. Okay. Pick up that fourth potion. Eat the mango and identify a potion. Potion of life. Which means I no longer have a potion of life. So if I happen to get hallucination, my game is over. Pretty much. Because I am not equipped to face hallucination for 10,000 turns or however long it is. And wait it out. Shall I just start trying scrolls and hope I get enchantment 
and hit the war pike before I get like protect weapon or something I mean I haven't had a potion of strength so even with three scrolls using that war pike is going to be touchy I think I need to just identify another potion that was a little scary but you know all right um, I've had one potion of strength now and can pick up that oh four scrolls let's go ahead and hit one of those then enchanting yes I'm going with the war pike So I've now enchanted that war pike four times. So it should be good. That probably means I can handle the eel. Yeah. I bet it does mean that. Um how on earth do I get back up over there? No, I don't want to Oh, I see. I keep stealing my keyboard focus. Oh look, I can also handle goblins now. Another war pike. Uh, yeah, I don't think I care now. In fact, I also don't care about the mace. I feel like I probably missed. I don't care about a flail. I feel like I probably missed some objects on an earlier level. Warpike was plus zero when I got it, because it's plus four now. I don't care. Plus four Warpike is so much better than anything else that I had that would have allowed me to survive. Ooh, plus three transference ring. Caught a break on that. So, yeah. Hmm. Acid could be a problem. Oh, no, I have transference. Acid's okay if I see it coming. stage in the game I might be worried about a conjurer but with a uh, plus four war pike I'm not okay ready onward and downward Oh. Alright. Need to identify potions then. Not that I have very many of them, but such ones as I do have. Oh, 
Ah. Detect magic. We can switch to the scale mail right now. Drop the leather armors. And the negative splint. There we go. Actually, I identified both negative scrolls with that. I'm sure glad I didn't read identify that stack of three. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't have read all three to identify them. I would have read one, but still. Uh, the fact that it was a stack of three made it more likely that I would uh, re-identify it. I'm glad I did not. Okay, back here. Oh, incendiary darts could come in handy. See if we can find a key anywhere. Oh, I see a place I didn't explore. Oh, yep, that's where the key is.
hate having to reach for the mouse. There ought to be an easier way to do travel. Like, for instance, the way it is in NetHack would be good. Okay. And then you get interrupted and you can't just say, go to the place I was already going to. There's no, like, continue travel key. Okay, um, I already have a war pike, and it's better than plus zero. Um, stuff of tunneling could be useful, but at slash two, I'm going to prefer the key and see what's in here. Ooh, I get two staves. That's a better deal. Um, Discord and Lightning are very uh, complementary. They're not useful for the same purposes. Stuff you'll use Discord against, Lightning wouldn't help, and vice versa. So, that's that's a good pair. Do I? Oh, there's a door up here that I didn't see. That's how. Yep. I don't see a way down. Let's, um, let's go this way. Okay, uh, let's drop the food for a moment, hit the enchanting, and then we're going to have to identify a scroll, um, and let's go with uh, this one because I now have three of it. Oh, protect armor. That's a good one to have three of. What is that? Powder something? Porta, powder porta. Okay, it's not a duplicate. So, let's hit L, which is a duplicate. Alright, got my warp pike protected. That'll do. The remaining scroll of protect weapon I happen to not need because I had my good weapon equipped when I identified that. Scarlet Potion, don't I have one of those? Thought I saw one of those at one point, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, chain mail is negative and I don't want it. Weapons, including this unidentified spear, I'm not going to bother to carry. There's a small chance that that spear is like dragon slaying or tentacle horror slaying or something. Um, 
if I knew that, I would carry it. But I, the odds and inventory management and stuff, and I'm just not going to bother with it. Um, trying to haul infinitely many things downstairs all the time is just not worth it to me. So, um, do I have the strength for that yet? No, not by a long shot. Let's go ahead and hit that. And that. Okay, that gives me five slots. Oh, and I don't need this protect weapon. Caught a break there. Got that thing before he saw me. I'm definitely going to have to learn how to make MPV not do that thing it's doing popping up a window every time it changes tracks. Because that's really annoying. I'll read the man page after this game. Okay, oh, my stuff's protected now. I don't have to worry about the acid. I can just treat it like everything else. Oh, that's so nice. Do I want a mystic? He'll just die if I set him free right now. So annoying, but it will work. Fine. Get his attention. Why does he not sling webs at me? Need it to get across there, unless I have... No, I don't have levitation or anything. I need him to sling a web at me. Come on. There we go. Now he did. the key. Okay, what do I want here? The firebolt? Why am I not wearing my ring of stealth? Um... Yeah, I got two rings, so taking two plus three rings, so taking clairvoyance isn't that tempting. I've got some armor, including some known positive banded mail, um, that I don't even have the strength for yet, but hey. Uh, so, uh, I think the, uh, the firebolt is looking like the option there. <coughs> and there has got to be some more unexplored area over here <coughs> there's got to yeah okay let's go onward and downward
a troll. Set the troll on fire. Wish I could set him on fire and then lure him across flammable terrain. My stealth is working against me here. I could take it off. First troll. I get a couple more enchants into my plus six warp bike. And that'll get easier. something. What do I want to identify? I'm not worried about wasting enchant armor or enchant weapon. Negative scrolls are already called. Let's go ahead and just do a scroll. See, negation doesn't even blank scrolls in this game. Uh, I mean, which is fine, but uh, because uh, you don't need blank scrolls in this game because there's no magic markers. But still, it's just a little weird to me. But hey, whatever. Let's go ahead. Oh, descent. Well, at least. I didn't identify Descent about two levels later. That could have been real rough. Okay, do I want to go across here with a Will-O-Wisp? around that could set me on fire. Nope, I don't. Oh well. Too late I did. Kill it. Identify something. Um, have I identified incineration yet? No, I haven't identified hardly any negative potions yet. Um, let's do a scroll then. Sanctuary. Okay. Let's do another scroll. Still no duplicates. All right. Well, whatever. Identify. What do I want to identify? The Malachite Ring is 
possibly tempting, but I got two plus three rings. Um, any of the staves might be a good choice, particularly Firebolt and Discord. Or the Titanium Wand. Let's do that. Eh, beckoning. Beckoning. I mean, it does have its moments. It comes in handy occasionally. I do not think of it as one of the more powerful wands, however. And in general, wands are not as powerful as staves in this game. What's the catch? There's no water around. It's not eels. It's probably collapsing ground. Yeah, okay. Okay, I can deal with this. A crowd of individually non-threatening enemies. With a war pike and transference, that's not that bad. Oh boy. I don't have the sorts of things that I usually look for to make uh, those particular types of rooms easier, like blinking, for instance. Oh, scroll of Identify. I can use that on the aluminum wand, I guess. Negation. That's a fairly powerful wand. Perhaps. How much good shattering would do in that situation? Not that I have identified shattering yet. But I'm carrying a couple of unidentified scroll unidentified scrolls that potentially could be shattering. Yeah, I would have to step on that and some of the other thing. Come on, yeah. That one just won't die, okay. I really got too many things behind it that can heal it. Either that or it was just... Oh, that's a winged guardian. No wonder I can't kill it. Um... I think I'm just gonna go away and leave whatever is there there. Um, it's kind of a bummer. To just abandon whatever goodies there are. But I don't see what choice I really have because just gonna get myself hurt in that situation. I'd like to get past and 
explore this up here just because I never did okay but it's nothing oh swell a statue trap with a wraith fortunately he took off I don't have a key do I oh I have the key um, how do I get there this way it's not the intended way but it works um right potion vault gonna have to do some identification here then let's throw that one there's incineration okay violet is also a duplicate do I not need? Oh, I can go ahead and protect my banded mail. Because I know it's positive. <coughs> and I don't have the strength for it yet. And it wouldn't be worth putting an enchant into it. But I had two scrolls of protect armor, so I went ahead and spent one on that. Um, that way, when I get to the point where I have enough strength for it, I can just wear identify it. And not worry about acid. Uh, that lets me pick up the violet. Um, the question is, do I want to try to quaff identify that? Or throw identify it? Or what? I mean, it could be telepathy. Which is nice. Levitation, which can be strategically useful on occasion. Speed, which can be useful. Um, or it could be paralysis, hallucination, confusion, darkness, or creeping death. I don't think I want to quaff identify it. I do have life and firebolt. So I'd be able to identify, but I don't want to spend a potion of life that way in this game. If I can avoid it. There's probably another potion of life over in here. In that sentinel fortress, or whatever you call that. But, realistically, I would expend a lot of resources getting to it because I don't have, like I said, blinking or some of the other things that would allow you to bypass the hazards there. Um, I'd like to pick up the potion of fire immunity, but what am I willing to drop for it? I've only had one potion of magic detection this game. Granted, it came at a very strategically good time for me. Um, but, so, whatever I've picked up since, I have no idea of its quality. I'm going to drop that splint mail. Splint is a little heavy. Uh, just in general. So, oh boy. Okay, um, this is not an okay situation. Let's discord one of them. I'm screwed. Uh, they were discorded and wouldn't fight each other and kept fighting me. Discord's supposed to actually make them fight each other. And it didn't. Thanks for watching. Uh, as I said, music today was by Punch Deck. And I will put a link to that in the description. And I will see you another time.